so fast, so easy. Refresh our React app. Will it get the data from the database? Yes, it will. I'm going to combine Django Ninja with React and build a full stack app, including a database really quickly. Yeah, really excited about Django Ninja. Let's get into it. Should we do Django first or React first? Let's do React first. I'll use a previous tutorial widget on this and go to React here. So we'll just run through here using Vite, creating Vite, and then we choose React. TypeScript is fine. CD, Vite project, that's fine. NPM install, so that's actually to install React. There we go. And now let's run React. There it is. That's set up. Great. So we've got our front end set up. Now we'll set up our back end. Yeah, check out this guide. Put a link to it here if you want to check it out for how to style the UI in a little bit more. But now Django Ninja. Django Ninja is there. And let's get a new terminal. Let's actually just make sure you're in the right directory. So pip install Django and then Django Ninja like that. And now we want to run, I always forget the actual the syntax here. So I'll just look it up in another of my guides, even though I've done it so many times. Let's go here. Yeah. And this is what we wanted to run. Nice just to set up our project and then put an app inside. So we'll just run Django admin start project, called it, we'll call it core, and then python manage.py start app. There's our project set up. Let's just check uh, Django. Actually, we'll need to do one thing. Let's go into settings and then install, register our app here, which is called Sim. Just like that. Sim is just the placeholder name that I always use for it. Let's just run it to make sure it's working. Maybe there'll be an error. Python uh, manage.py run server. Oh, looks good. Our backend is ready to go. Now we can use Django Ninja and it's crazy power. It's so much better than so far that I've seen than Django REST framework. Django Ninja and just create a URLs in our sim. I like separating things out to be a bit neater. In our sim app, we'll create a sim URLs file. Cool. Now we will go here into URLs. This is our core, so our top, top level URLs. And then we'll go path just blank and then include the sim URLs at the import there, just like that. And then we go into URLs. We will just add in, uh, well, let's just copy it in for sim URLs and then copy this in and then we'll modify it a bit. We do want actually to have API as a prefix. But yes, just for clarity, I suppose, for our React app to call this marginal. Okay, um, that's, so we've got our URLs there and then we need this part here yeah. to add the um, really cool Django, such a nice design from what I've seen so far. But cool, now let's add a root. So we'll, we'll put this in its own API to create another file called api.py. Again, neater, will be easier to test if you have any tests. And then we import from Ninja the API and then we add our API route. So <laughs> fast, add and let's come back import we need to update this yeah api.urls to refer to that file and then add the import to our api file so this imports this you see api there and we're in your urls currently cool now that's it let's go to our back end that's good go to our api great Fantastic. Oh, that auto-corrected the stuff that I've done before. So the root works, but to make it even clear, because I did this exactly the same thing in the previous video that you're welcome to check out, if we go to show docs, I think it's show docs. Probably, no, it's not show docs, but it is just docs. So nice. So you get just free, free documentation built in. So anyone in your team will just have, like, they won't have to read the code. It'll just be a super clear, just the ease at which it's integrated is super. So if we add another route, show tr uh, list trees. And these are our trees. Thank you, Copilot. Then we just refresh this. It's just registered like that. Amazing. And if, and then we can just try it out here. We don't even have to run a curl script here. And it tells you exactly what the curl script you would run is. And there is our data. Talek has done such a nice job. So section three, we've added our front end with React. We've added our back end now. Let's connect them up and get React calling Django, which I guess we will need to do a little, uh, do some call settings. But anyway, let's, let's do it. List the trees. Let's add a couple more. Um, let's add Cedar, Maggie Copilot. Run it again. There's all the data. Amazing. We will actually get React to get these trees.
and we're going to go back into the React app. This is exactly what you'll do every time you connect a front end of the back end and a back end. But just Django Ninja. You think, okay, why don't I just use Fast API? I think this is much better because then you get all the power of the Django ORM, which is amazing. Interacting with the database just makes things so much easier. That's why I'm excited about this setup. I'm looking forward to using it in production. So now we're going to actually get the data from React. So this is our endpoint. And then we need to go to React, which is in our Beat project. That's where our front end is. And then we're going to go to the React top file here, app.tsx. You can see, let's make this bigger. You can see there's the React logo here that corresponds to here. And if we make a small change here, like number, you'll see it hot row loaded. There you go, it's updated. And so we want a, what do we want here? We want trees. So trees and then set trees here. And it's going to be an array, not. Do we have to type? Yeah, we do have to type. Okay, we'll just leave that for the moment, an array will be fine. And then we want to add fetch trees. That's actually a good start. Not quite right, but a good start. And so we'll go uh, localhost HTTP, because we're running it locally. Localhost. And then we're running our server on where? Uh, probably 8,000. Yep, 8,000. And then we want to put, I'll just make it a bit tidier actually, like tree API. And then what did we call it? We just go to our, here they are, and API slash trees. And let's just call this, make this simpler, just trees path is fine. And then add this on, use this domain differently, trees path. Okay, cool. Now we want to actually show the trees. So let's get rid of all this stuff. And I'm just going to return a simple oh, list of trees. It will do this. So this is the standard. It's a bit different from view here. View is, I think, I, yeah, I like this syntax much more. There are some benefits of view compared to React. React, you have to, you can't, you're writing more JSX in line here. Um, so that should be good. We need to call fetch trees. So to do that, you can use use effect, which we will use here. And go, this is our React app. Nothing. So I bet this is what I mentioned earlier that Django is stopping this because there are cause issues. Okay, let's see in the console log what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, and there is a cause issue. There you go. Let's get rid of this. So this is standard Django because essentially we're, we've got two different servers running. And so we need to say Django allow from this particular server. I wonder if the Ninja has a nice way to do this. Otherwise, I'll whip out cause headers by Adam. And yes, and then okay, looks like we need to use Django cause headers, which is Adam, which Adam maintains. Let's go there and install Django cause headers. Oh, we just go pip install this. We're almost there, but we just need to kind of fiddle with <laughs> fiddle around with the various settings. Okay, that's fine. Now we need to add it to our installed maps. So this is in our settings in core settings.prime, and then we just add it. Do we need to add it in a particular position? Nope. Let's just put it up there. And the middleware we need to add. Comment down below if you're unsure what middleware is. So highest possible before need. Okay. Before all comment responses. Let's just put it up at the top. Now we need to set the allowed origin. So that will be saying that the our React app can communicate to our Django app. So let's change that. What is our React app running on? Don't know. I will stop it and then run it again. 5173. 5173. That's kind of standard. And that looks fine. I haven't done this for a while. It's very normal with this to fiddle around to get this part set up. But let's see how it goes. Something's wrong. So we're getting the data and that's good. Can't find undefined map. So what am I doing here? So I don't think I'm setting the data correctly. That's the issue. You can just set, there is nothing results there. And then, so we just want to set the data. And now we refresh, it looks good. And there are trees. Cool, so you've connected React with Django. Congrats. As you can see, really quick, really easy to do. Django Ninja, Ooh, I'm loving it. Let's extend this a tiny bit with a database. So we'll go into Sim and then create our models. Our well, model stop. Actually, it's already exists there. We'll create a sample one called class tree. So this will be our database table. Name 
I'm just going to keep it really simple for you. Let's just go name as we are name and get rid of this. And then we need to go and run some migrations as usual. I make sure you're in the right, the root level. Python manage.py make migrations. There's our tree. And then Python manage.py migrate. There we go. And you'll see an R SQL light will pop up. There it is. And trees will be in that. And then get some images for the trees. No, that's not scope creep this. You can add that in. That's you'll find that easy. Let's go into API, put this data into the database, Python manage.py shell, and then we're gonna go uh, import the from models, import tree. Oh, what am I? No, that's because we need to import it from the particular app sim database. So sim API. And let's just get that access. And then we'll iterate over each of them for x in xs. And then we create a tree for each tree dot objects dot create. And then we'll just use the name equals x and then name like that. Now run. Created our trees. We can get rid of this sample data. We'll also add an extra tree just to demonstrate we're not using the sample data anymore called chestnut. In it goes. We can then now use the power of the Django ORM, which is so great, combined with this lovely Django Ninja. And so we'll import our model from models, import tree, and we'll list the trees. And so something like that, but we need dictionary, which then Django Ninja will convert automatically into JSON, which then our React app will get. So we'll get the trees here, trees, ID tree name for, for tree and trees. Easy. And this is too many blank lines. Very good. And here and then API slash docs. Not spell it correctly. Docs. There we are, list trees. And now try it out. Execute. Perfect. And can we see our horse chestnut? Our chestnut? There's our chestnut. So we're now using data from the database. So fast, so easy. Refresh our React app. Will it get the data from the database? Yes, it will. There's chestnut now. So it's connected up. You're using the database. Okay, the next one I'll add auth and build on this existing React Django Ninja stack that we've got set up extremely easily and very nicely. Maybe you can appreciate how smooth this is. Ops to Vitalik for Django Ninja. 